This is the continuation for the analysis and design of doubly reinforced beam. Now we are going to determine the ultimate moment capacity of a beam given its properties and also the tension and compression steel reinforcement. We have here uh, three different cases. So for our case number one, uh, our assumption would be all steel yields and for case number two tension steel yields while compression steel does not yield and for the last case is tension does not yield but compression steel yields so now i will uh, give you an example which falls under case number one so we have here a uh, doubly reinforced beam having these properties oh, the its compressive strength is equivalent to 20.7 megapascal and the steel yield strength is equivalent to 345 megapascal so the compression steel reinforcement is composed of two 28 mm diameter bars and for the tension reinforcement we have four uh, 36 mm diameter bars so here we have uh, our values B that is the width of the beam that uh, equal to 350 mm and then our D prime so the D prime is the distance uh, bit, uh, from the centroid of from the centroid of our compression reinforcement up to the extreme concrete fiber so our value is equivalent to 60 mm and for our effective depth ganun pa rin ano simula dun sa centroid nung tension reinforcement up to the extreme concrete fiber equivalent to 600 mm so now uh how are we going to find the ultimate moment capacity of this beam so our first step is we are going to assume for case number one that all steel yields so, so meaning yung fs natin this is the actual stress of the tension reinforcement dapat ang lalabas is greater than siya to FY and also the actual stress for the compression reinforcement should be e greater than or equal to FY so now how are we going to uh, prove that ano, that assumption so ang panggagalingan natin is yung sa Paano ba ina-analyze ulit yung sa doubly reinforced? Di ba meron tayong um, dalawang pair ng ano dun, ng forces. So, uh, ang assumption natin, ito yung sa singly reinforced wherein meron tayong area ng steel na tutumbasan naman ng compression ni concrete. So, sa doubly reinforced, meron tayong additional na AS2 and ang katapat naman niya is yung compressive force na kinikerry ni compression reinforcement na ah, denoted as A prime S. So, dito kapag nabanggit ko na din sa previous video ko, uh, kapag nag-yield yung steel on both sides, so, ang magiging assumption natin, AS2 would be equal to the value of A prime S. So, therefore, kung kukunin natin yung AS1 natin, ang gagawin lang natin, yung total area ng tension reinforcement, mamayinusan lang natin ng AS2. And this AS2 is equivalent to the area of the steel uh, compression steel reinforcement so bakit 
ba kailangan natin kay makuha si AS1. So, galing kasi dun sa value ni AS1, uh, ang gagawin natin, mag TT is equal to C tayo. T1 is equal to C1. Wherein yung tension na kinikerry ni AS1 multiplied, multiplied by Fy is equivalent to the compressive force ni concrete. So, ayan. So, using this equation, we can get the value of A. Wherein, si A is magdidetermine naman nung magiging location nung neutral axis natin, ba? Diba? So, ayan, yung C. So, yung wherein, kapag nakuha na din natin si C, anong mangyayari dito? Uh, Magkakavalue tayo ng mag ma verify na natin yung value ng actual value ni Fs. Wherein, equivalent siya sa 600 multiplied by D minus C over C and yung F prime S naman natin na 600 600 times C minus D prime over C so pakitandaan na lang ito ano ito is na derive from the equation from the stress strain diagram so now uh, trial tayo mag ano mag substitute so AS1 is equivalent to so manggagaling muna tayo dito yung total tension natin is composed of 4 na 36 mm diameter bar tas mamaynosa natin ng uh, area ng compression that is dalawang 28 so ang sagot is AS1 is equivalent to 2840 so again substitute lang natin FY is 345 equals 0.85 ang F prime C is 20.7 and then yung A natin is yung hinahanap and then 354B therefore the value for A is so yung value ng A is equivalent to 159.10 to get the value of C uh, we are going to divide A lang by beta 1. So, yung beta 1 natin is equivalent to 0.85 since F prime C is less than 28 megapascal. Therefore, we got the value of C. So, we can now uh, solve for the actual value of Fs. So, the value of Fs is 1,323.27 and for the actual stress for the compression reinforcement that is 407.67 so kung i-check natin to pareho siyang greater than FY therefore our assumption is correct so now we can proceed uh, to in getting the value of MU so this is equivalent to PMN. So, yung MN natin is composed nung um, moment 1 plus moment 2. So, manggagaling yung moment 1 dun sa uh, pair natin na T1 multiplied by D minus A over 2 plus T2 uh, D minus D prime. So, itong phi pakitandaan na yung value ng phi is nakadepende dun sa tension reinforcement natin. Wala siyang hindi siya, hindi nagmamatter yung condition nung sa compression reinforcement. So, kasi ba diba, matatandaan natin na itong reduction factor natin is nakadepende kung nasa transition region ba, tension control or compression uh, controlled yung beam natin. So, for this case, uh, since nag-yield siya and greater than 1000 MPa naman siya, 
Therefore, our point uh, phi is equivalent to 0.90. So, now, paano naman ito, itong mga moment na nakuha natin? So, ang mangyayari kasi dito, di ba, uh, ito, mag-a-act as one force. Ito yung tension natin. Ano? And then, dito, wherein yung, yung total tension dito is may tension 1 plus tension 2. So, kung babalik, ito yung matat, uh, makikita nyo. Kung matatandaan nyo yung explanation ko dito, uh, kung baga may nahati siya sa dalawa. Ano? So, ito yung tension 1, tension 2. So, nagmo-moment tayo sa location nung tension reinforcement. Wherein, yung tension 2 is equivalent to compression 2 and then tension 1 is equivalent to compression 1. So, kapag nagmo-moment tayo dito, kumbaga, uh, ipagko-combine din natin tong dalawa eh pag a natin yung mga moment nila. Pero yung concept is, magmo-moment ka lang sa iisang point. So, nag-moment tayo kunwari dito. So, ang mga forces lang dito na may moment is itong compression 2 times d minus d prime plus yung compression 1 natin times uh, d minus a over 2. So, I hope malinaw sa inyo yung pagkuha ng mga moment arm. Ano po? Kasi dito, yung D, ma-minusun syempre natin yung D prime. Kasi andito naman yung force natin. Ano? And then, ito naman, ayan, ito lang. Pero dito, sa case na to, para mas madali, para puro ano na lang, uh, steel, yung gagamitin natin na property, ah, uh, instead na yung mga yung compression dito ng concrete na 0.85 F prime si AB ang gamitin natin ang gagamitin natin is yung value ng tension force na AS1 FY and then dito AS2 FY pero same lang naman ang sagot nito na magre-result dito so baka isipin nyo nag moment tayo dito sa location ng tension forces dapat zero sila so ang maging thinking nyo lang uh, nag moment tayo dito pero yung uh, equivalent force kasi ang ginamit natin na T2 instead of C2 so ayan uh, substitute lang tayo we have 0 0.9 and then yung T1 is yung AS1 FY so FY yung gagamitin natin since nag yield sila pareho ayan and then AS2 FY D minus D prime ayan so yung AS1 meron na tayong value na uh, 2840 and yung AS2 na uh, uh, dalawang 28mm so kapag nag substitute kayo ito dapat yung Ik, uh, magiging value nya so our ultimate moment is equivalent to 665.43 kilonewton meter so on my next video I will discuss about case number 2